Now, come to a new topic, which is, if you don't understand this, I'll write like this. functional groups now till now we have been seeing compounds containing only carbon and hydrogen what if there are other atoms like oxygen nitrogen chlorine bromine in the compound suppose we have C, C, C. These are all hydrogens. So this is propane. Suppose we remove this hydrogen and add a chlorine over here. See, chlorine also has a valency 1, so it can bond to carbon. So this compound, the properties of this compound, which was earlier propane, will not remain the same. Due to the addition of this chlorine, the properties will change. This can be a single atom or it can be a group of atoms. It can also contain carbon with another, uh, suppose carbon with oxygen, carbon with another type of element. So this group of heteroatoms, heteroatoms uh, Heteroatoms means atoms other than carbon. So this group of heteroatoms which gets attached to this carbon chain or carbon or it can be carbon ring also and which changes the properties of this compound, original compound, is called a functional group. So, basically, functional groups are groups of heteroatoms which may contain carbon but not only carbon which define or you can say which give rise to new properties of a compound when attached to it. So these functional groups are these groups of atoms they can be one atom, they can be more than atom, more than one atom, they can be atoms, uh, they can be heteroatoms which contain carbon also, which contain, which give rise to new properties when attached to a compound. So we have seen that this propane 
who had a which had a definite set of properties if you remove a hydrogen and add a chlorine this has totally different properties than propane so this chlorine is a functional group now there are lo lots of functional groups but we'll be learning about some very basic functional groups okay so a table where there's a functional group and when it is attached to the carbon chain what it it's called name or something so there is a functional this there is chlorine and this bond refers to the one valency where it gets attached to the carbon chain so the name of this is chloride i mean it's just like hydrogen chloride so carbon and chloride i mean the name of the chain and chloride similarly you can have bromine iodine fluorine so these will become bromide iodide fluoride so these are just the halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so we have fluoride chloride bromide iodide apart from these we have a functional group oh this oh is like oxygen bonded to hydrogen hydrogens one valency satisfied but oxygens only one valency is satisfied so one it uses to bond with the chain chain or ring whatever so this is the oh remember this is not the oh minus ion oh minus ion the oh minus ion is different from the oh group this is a functional group this is an ion 